What's up guys, Joe95 Gaming here and welcome to the next episode of the Young Stars. Now today guys we have a young Norwegian talent, Odegaard, uh, a player that was linked with virtually every top club before he actually moved to Real Madrid. Going to be one of the best players in the world soon hopefully. And um, please check out all my links below and um, I want to just give a quick shout out to all the guys below. I've linked three guys channels below. Um, I'd like you to check them out please very very good youtubers and help me out a lot and um, yeah I really appreciate all the work they do for me so guys today we have young Odegaard now um, I really enjoyed playing with Odegaard and um, I found that he was a very very good player this is the Norwegian team I built around him Jarstein in goal very very good goalkeeper I decided to change it up a bit guys because I thought uh, everyone would be expecting me to make a BBVA team around them, but I wanted to use a different type of team and um, this Norwegian team, although cheap, was absolutely quality. Now there's this guy right back, 300 coins, you can't argue, he's a very, very good, he's got very, very good stats. By the way guys, if the, my voice sounds a bit weird, I have got a, a sore throat and a cold, so not the best, but you know. The first centre back we have Hovland, a very solid centre half, look at his stats, I expected him to cost me a lot more than what he did, just because of his stats, But and him being a silver, he was very good, both of these centre halves were very good in this team. Alongside him we have the former Southampton man Foran, again his pace is a bit, you know, but next to him they had we had the pace and um, he got covered a lot of times but his positioning did get him out of it a lot because he has got very good positioning left back we have team of the season Melling I uh, think that's how you pronounce his name don't look at his physical but I tell you one thing guys this guy is worth it pick him up he's attacking he attacks so well he's defending his are okay as well but he attacks so well and um, He's got very, very good in-game balance, I think, as well. But he's very pacey. Just pick him up, guys, if you can. Uh, the first CM, I've gone for Alexandra Tete. Probably the standout player for me in this team. Very good player and in real life as well on the game. He is a very good player and uh, very cheap now, actually. The, third, the second CM, we have Henriksen. Again, another good player for the price you're paying. I mean, you can't argue for his st uh, stats and the price you're paying really he uh, did well for me and um, did assist Odegaard a few times for some of the um, chances next we have Helend again another player who really surprised me I mean look at the stats I've never even seen him before and his stats are absolutely quality I recommend this team highly guys I can't stress how good this team actually is and I'm even thinking of keeping this team and upgrading it on the left side we have El Yanassi. I think he's a former West Brom player. I might be wrong on that one, but I seem to re remember someone called El Yanassi playing for um, West Brom. Uh, let me know, guys, if um, you know anything about that. But I do have a feeling that he's a former West Brom player. Up front we have Abdelawi. There is a bronze in form you can get called Abdelawi too, who who looks okay for a bronze player, but. This Abdelawi is a very good player. I have had him since the start of FIFA as I got him in a starter pack. But I've used him quite a few times and um, he is a very good non-rare player that I never ever see used. So guys, I'd recommend you go pick him up. He'd probably be about 350 coins. So guys, that is the team. And Odegaard, he was a very good player on this game. Um, in real life, he has been linked with various, various clubs. He was so close to joining Manchester United. Um, when Real Madrid signed him but obviously he was lured by Real Madrid I mean who wouldn't be all the money a chance to play with the likes of Ronaldo etc but he's a very talented player and he's I think he's only 17 years old age so again he's got very very he's got a lot of time to grow and uh, maybe he will become I think Real think he will become one of the best players in the world soon and um, he's got the talent to and it would be good for Norway too because that as you see in that team they don't really have many standout players in real life football whereas on the game they've got decent players but they don't seem to have that many standout players 
But here are a few facts about Odegaard guys. He is playing for Real Madrid Castilla, which is their second B team. Um, he's attacking midfielder. And then guys, you can see all his age, his date of birth, etc. And his agent and his foot. I mean, he can play in various positions alongside the midfield. But he, he is best at number 10 behind the striker. And uh, these are some of his foothead stats. He hasn't got brilliant foothead stats, to be honest, guys. I was very surprised because in the clips, I very, I really enjoyed using him. And he, he did score me quite a lot of goals. So, I mean, his agility is good. I mean, but to be honest, from looking at them stats, I expected him not to be as good as he was. Because I actually looked at them stats before I played with the team. And as you will see guys, he was a very good cam, he did everything a cam should do, threw balls, he scored, got, got forward and scored a few goals, very good passing he had and I found that he also had a very good touch, very good close control, very good dribbling and um, he scored some very nice goals to be fair and I very much enjoyed it using him. I mean there is a gold cam you could have who is Norwegian but for me Odegaard, I'm going to have to try out that gold cam. Just in case, just after this, but to me, Odegaard played absolutely quality, and I'd not take him out of this team lightly, guys, because his dribbling, especially, was exceptional. So I'd recommend you highly go pick him up, and he is definitely one for the future, guys. Thank you, guys, for watching. I really, really appreciate the support on my channel recently. Don't forget to check out all my links, and I'll see you soon, guys. Bye.